words to describe life on this planet. Some creatures could be called magnificent, or monstrous, perhaps misunderstood. But only a few creatures who roam this earth The complete crew has been gathering resources and strengthening the tribe. In spite of the crew's best efforts to tame a better Giga, the best we've come across is a level 95 with 23 points in melee damage. To have a break and change of atmosphere, myself, tribe mate Romeo and Vexing Cat all decide to head out to the Sunken Forest Cave in search of some better loot. On extinction, retrieving artifacts has less relevance since the terminal to summon the bosses are in the same location. But there's still loot crates and explorer notes to gather. Before we head out, we kill two birds with one stone and go on a hunt for some otters. They can of course carry artifacts, but more importantly, their insulation buff will help with the amount of food and drink consumption the crew endures out in the wastelands. We start by heading out to the green obelisk in the sanctuary to have a quick scan around the lake. Oh, there is an otter here actually, a level 40. Yeah. Okay, I got it. Daddy, do you need me to go hunt some fish now? We need to hunt Get some fishies. Me. It's on me, RG. Mm. Um, nom, nom. Who wants the first one? I know you go for it, mate. Need to put our artifact in something, don't we? Oh my god, 99%. Ah, oh, almost. That, that was a good fish. That was a good fish. I'll bring a lesser fish. There you go, dude. Thank you very much. Come back on the way back to check again. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. With one level 40 female tamed at the Green Obelisk, the tribe heads out to the Sunken Forest, a place surrounded by lakes and forests sitting alone in its own ecosystem, far away from the bombardment of asteroid impacts. Tribe mate Romeo is the first to spot a couple of otters. Using the Snow Owl's night vision is a great way to spot them in dark places. You already managed to pick one up over here, mate. There you go. Yep. Oh. Have you seen what level it is? <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. is it one that I want? Let's have a look. Yeah, probably. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. That is fantastic, Vex. Check that out. <laughs> what do we get here? Like a 150? Yeah, well, we're definitely going to have to breed off this one. We're going to have three otters and we're going to have to breed off that one. Okay, this one, I, this fish put it at 29. Okay, now 54%. There you go, it's tame. Yeah. Yeah, I think mine was a... Female. Have you got a male? Females, wow. <laughs> the three females. All, all three are females. Well, we'll have to pop back to the lake see if, on the way back to see if we can see mm -hmm. her. Thing oh, it's still following me. We each managed to tame an otter but the hunt for a male will have to wait until after we've searched the forest cave. Inside, located in a secret chamber, is a little easter egg for those who are fans of the lore of Ark, showing the final resting place of Elena. And like any cave, you could find that one blueprint or item that could make all the difference. The cave is wide enough to fit a Giga, so we each take the opportunity to get some levels and collect some notes on our newly imprinted Giggas. Oh, I've got a note by accident. <laughs> There's a note right here somewhere I've stepped on. Oh, I see it. There it is. It's a H note. Hang on a second. I just want to check back here because I know that um, that room is sat off to the side of something. So nothing else but a note underneath my Giga. So I got it. Got it. Got it. Oh. First drop. The bluey. What have we got? So we can get cat road. Uh, rubbish. Blueprint for Gallimima saddle and a blueprint for a double shotgun. Mm. Mm. So I'm probably have to jump up as well. On who waits? Got it. Good. Uh, hang on a second. 
Hang on a sec. Okay. Let me get down a sec. Now we're gonna have to get our guns out because there might be some stuff in here if you leave a gigas out here, we'll be alright. I have a Rex on me. Okay, um I think a Rex. I have a, would... yeah. I have a pocket giga. <laughs> Throw a Rex out. That might help. Yeah, just one moment. It's yeah, Rex level, fits. But... Oh! And of course I got through Wolfie right away, didn't I? <laughs> Did you pop? You're, you're on top. Oh, wait, wait. Let's see, squat. Micro raptors. Okay. Oh wow, that's a lot of micro raptors. It is. Oh. I think that's about as far as this Rex is going to go. Control with the right back, Huh? Like a raptor. Oh. You guys need help back there? Uh, uh, now we got it. We got I, it. I, I shot Romeo <laughs> twice, but we got it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't get through, get this guy through the next one. So. Okay. I have to re pocket up. I am. First. Is this led us back? Oh, it's led us to the note, and I think this is it. Yep, the stuff in there. You might need to get your Giga out because there's terrible. I mean, you're uh, oh, oh, the rag road. Yeah. They can't get up here though. Yes, they can. There's a ramp. Oh, they're coming towards the. Typical chickens. I think it's got some uh, damage on it. Okay, well this is, yeah, this is the spot. This is where Helena came with Mei Ying. A little Easter egg. I think that's, oh wow, that's awesome. And it's pretty yeah. cool. That is incredible. So it's another way out, but I don't know if that brings us out to the artifact. I guess we'll have to go and poke our heads up there, but we've left our gigas back. So I don't know. Try, try to heal this guy up a little tiny bit. He's down to half. There's another note just here from. How long? Mei Ying. Put some levels on this guy. Can we get back up? That was really not worth it. Was it not? Can you get back up? Um. Let me see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Better than a the grab, then. <laughs> Who has not gotten one? I can grab it. Sure, dude. Can I get this one, James? Well, then you... I bet it's going to be a crop pot. Mm. <gasps> oh, an Ascendant Rex saddle. What? Really? Really? <laughs> blueprint for Ascendant Rex saddle. Uh, 104. Oh, yeah, a oh. blueprint and a set of um, Fergilly um, hands. But yeah, blue Rex saddle blueprint. What, what is the armor on it? 109. Let's just check what it costs to make. It is... Uh, 5,500 subble... Uh, fiber. Um, it's actually really cheap. What's going on? 
10,400 hide and what, uh, 1,380 metal ingots, 5,000 for a, a, a armor value of 104. That's a really, really, because it's not too expensive as well. I've had them when it's been like 20 odd thousand hide. With a Rex saddle blueprint, our Rex's back at base can now make viable orbital supply drop defense mounts. But to truly conquer extinction, the hunt continues for the king of beasts, the Giga. As always, thank you to my patrons for the continued support, and of course, a big thanks to the Complete crew. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.